What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to move a Valorant install from one drive to another, downloading next to nothing at all. First of all, I'll go ahead and fire up the Valorant client just so you can see what I'm talking about. Currently, it's on my E drive, which is a hard disk, but let's say I want to move the game to, say, an SSD without re downloading the whole thing. How do I do it? As you can see, the game works properly. What I'm going to do is quit out of the game, but right before that, pulling across my task manager, you can see Valorant over here. And if I right click Valorant, open folder location, you'll see that it's currently installed on my E drive, games, Riot Games, etc. etc. Let's move this game to another drive. So, of course, I'll quit out of the game first, and let's get to it. All that we have to do is hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog box as such. Inside of here, type in percentage, program data, percentage, and hit enter. After doing this, a folder will appear, and all we're going to do in here is look for Riot. I'll click R to skip straight down to Riot, and it'll open up Riot Games. Then you'll see Riot Client Installs.json. Simply double click this file to open it with a program such as Notepad. You may have to pick Notepad from a list of programs. Anyway, once you have it open, you'll see Associated Client. Inside of the first set of quotes, you'll see where the game is currently installed, and the second set of quotes over here, you'll see where the Riot Client is located. Note that the actual game itself and the Riot client are two separate programs, and all we're going to do is move the actual game files over here rather than the entire Riot client in its entirety, as the game files are really what's going to cause a performance increase, if anything, and the client is only used on starting up the game. Long story short, let's head across to the first path over here. I'll copy it, and I'll paste it into my file browser so that we can navigate across to there. As you can see, we have all of the Valorant files over here, and if I open up the properties window, you can see 14.8 gigs on my E drive. Let's go out of here, go back two folders, and let's cut this Valorant folder over here and place it on a different disk. So I'll cut it and I'll move it to say my H drive, which is an SSD. I'll make a new folder called temp and I'll paste it into here. Now you'll see the 15 gigs are being moved from my slow hard disk onto my much faster SSD. This of course will take some time depending on the speed of your disks. There we go. Now the game has been moved completely across to a different location. Let's go into it, followed by the live folder so we can see all of the files over here. Having a look at the text document that we still have open, you can see E Games Riot Games Valorant Live. All we have to do is copy the existing path up here that we just moved it to and replace the one here. So I'll click at the very top, right click, copy, and I'll come down here. Of course, it ends in live forward slash, so I'll make sure that the one I copied also ends in live forward slash. After selecting the existing text and pasting it in between the quotation marks, you'll see that these backslashes need to become forward slashes. And once again, one right after live. I'll go ahead and save it. And now because we've moved it to a different location and it no longer exists on EE Games, Riot, Riot Client, you can see that there's no Valorant here. Now that we've moved the game and updated the folder, there's one more place we have to change it. So once again, I'll copy the link at the very top, ending in live, and I'll head back to percentage, program data, percentage, Riot Games, and this time I'll open up the metadata folder. Then inside of valorant.live, I'll open up Valorant Live Product Settings.yaml once again with Notepad. Inside of here, all you have to do is scroll down until you see product install full path or product install root. At the very bottom, you can see product install full path, eGames Riot, and product install root, eGames Riot, etc. etc. Let's go ahead and paste in what we copied earlier. Because we copied from right at the beginning to the end of live, I'll once again select everything inside of these quotation marks and paste it in, and once again replace the backslashes with forward slashes. But as you can see right below it, it only goes up to the Riot Games folder, which is now the temp folder that I created on my different drive. Why is that? Well, if I were to undo things here, which it doesn't seem like I can, anyway, it was E Games Riot Games Valorant Live up here before. Because E Games Riot Game became H Temp, I'll simply select everything here and paste in H Temp. After doing this, I'll hit Control S to save this file, and now when we fire up Valorant, it should simply start up as usual, though this time quite a bit faster than before. And there we go. As you can see, I'm on the main menu. And if I bring up my task manager, you can see once again, Valorant, I'll right click it, open file location. And this time you'll see it's in HTemp Valorant Live Shooter Game Binaries Win64, which is on my H drive rather than my E drive. 
the move was successful, and we didn't have to download anything at all. Let's say you open up the Valorant launcher, and instead of being dropped into the actual game itself, you're asked to reinstall the game. What can we do? You can see that it says install, and already installed right below it. All I'm going to do is click already installed. Usually changing the file in the previous step is more than enough to get this to work, but regardless, that's fine. I'll head across to htemp, which is the folder I moved it to, Valorant Live, then I'll click OK. And as you can see, it verifies the files, and it's immediately done. I can hit play, and the game should fire up as usual, but of course, a lot faster than before. So anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!